This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets, a veterinary medicine and surgery come alive to vet students and pet owners. This video shows surgical procedures, and thus, viewers' discretion is advised. Today is the 24th of September, 2019, Tuesday. This here is an 11-year-old, male, neutered golden retriever who came to the clinic today for his oral hematoma surgery. As can be seen in this image, the hematoma on this golden retriever's right ear measures about 4.8 by 3.2 centimeters. Before proceeding any further, let us find out a little more about oral hematomas. A hematoma refers to the collection of blood outside of a blood vessel. As the pina contains many tiny vessels, bleeding under the skin could occur when said blood vessels rupture. The blood vessels could be ruptured when there is trauma to the ear, or when there is intense shaking of the dog's head or scratching of the ear due to an itch or allergic reaction. Such bleeding under the skin can then result in the formation of a blood and pus-filled pocket, which would then be identifiable as an oral hematoma. As this dog in particular has previously contracted a skin disease, profuse scratching of its ears was likely the cause of the oral hematoma. There are several treatment options for oral hematoma in this case. The main objectives of surgery are to remove the hematoma, establish proper drainage, prevent recurrence, and to preserve the appearance of the pena by minimizing scar formation. The four main types of surgical methods include needle aspiration, establishing tube drainage, incisional drainage, and laser therapy. The type of surgical method used depends largely on how long the hematoma has been present, the patient's suitability as a candidate for general anesthesia, as well as the vet's personal preference. In this case, incisional drainage was the method chosen. An S-shaped incision was first made across the length of the hematoma on the penis concave surface. The hematoma was then drained and there was removal of some fibrin clots. Following which, sutures were placed as seen to eliminate the dead space between the skin of the concave surface of the pena and the underlying auricular cartilage so as to prevent blood from pooling underneath the skin once more, causing a recurrence of the hematoma. The patient was sent home that very same day and the owner was advised to continue the course of oral antibiotics and anti-inflammatories. Additionally, they are required to manage the wound appropriately to ensure that there is no infection at the incision site. The dog was also given an e-collar to prevent scratching of the wound, thereby facilitating healing of the incision site. As a final takeaway, oral hematoma can sometimes be indicative of other underlying issues like skin diseases or ear infections, so owners are advised to be observant regarding their pet's general health and to seek early treatment should they notice the above symptoms in their pet. Do visit topiovets.com if you need more information, and once again, thanks for watching.